Hey everyone, I just finished a new mod called Basement Living. This adds 10 new interior player homes just like Homeplate that are various types of bunkers, basements, and fallout shelters. Each one has its own fully standalone interior workshop, so you can scrap, craft, and decorate them however you want. There are no console commands or workarounds required, and again, these do not affect your above ground settlements or cause any sort of cell reset bug. They don't respawn and are fully owned by the player, again, exactly like Homeplate. Locations from the vanilla game were used as a basis for these homes, including a couple of unused cells, which were copied and heavily modified in order to make them function as a player home with a workshop. There's a few features that make them really flexible, and followers will even comment sometimes on how cozy or safe the locations are. They're true interior cells, meaning that they always exist like any other real interior, but to make it more flexible and immersive for lack of a better term, you have to craft the doors in order to enter each one. This also makes it so you can place them anywhere you want in your settlements. They cost 10 wood, 10 steel, and 10 concrete to make, so it actually feels like you're crafting a basement. Now this part might confuse some people, but because the interiors are cells that are persistent and always there in the background, you can only have one door per basement at a given time. Otherwise, having multiple instances of the same door go to the same basement location ended up with weird teleportation problems and confusing situations. All 10 basements can exist anywhere at any time, but if you craft a door for basement number one at Red Rocket and then go to Sanctuary and craft the same door to the same basement number one over again, that door will simply move. You will be notified that the basement moved and where it moved from to make keeping track of them easier. This does not affect the interior cell itself. Again, true loading screen interior cells always exist and don't really go anywhere. The doors are just teleports. So if you make changes to the cell or redecorate it or whatever and then move the location of its entry door, the cell will be exactly the same as you left it. Only the door moves. Hope that makes sense. Each basement home has its own power box that gives 100 power, again just like home plate, and has a control panel that allows you to toggle the default lighting, fog, and in some places the trash and rubble on and off. The kind of lighting that's possible inside interior cells is far superior to that of workshop lighting, but I wanted to give people the flexibility to turn it on and off as they please in case they wanted to completely redo the lighting. You'll notice the workshop containers themselves in these spaces have been replaced with smaller versions utilizing the toolbox meshes so they don't take up too much space. Again, each interior has its own standalone interior workshop which was done to not interfere with the main settlements. Because the entry doors to these cells can only be crafted in settlements anyway, it's easy to just go upstairs and grab whatever you need from the main settlement workbench if you run out of supplies to build. Now I'll stop talking and give you a brief slideshow of each one to give you an idea what they look like inside. And that's it. The link to download is in the description below. I hope you enjoy. See you next time.